There's a saying, never meet your heroes because they'll break your heart. From the moment I remember, I wanted to be a baseball player. It was the American dream. I got kicked off the team for smoking weed. It was a disaster. My plan was go into medicine. The Belize School of Medical and Performing Arts. What is Florida about? It's about vanity and sex. It was a perfect place for the anti-aging movement. Especially down here in Miami, everyone wants things now, now, now. There's almost no regulations. You'd have people who pretended to be doctors given all types of medical advice. He had a white lab coat that said Dr. Tony Bosch. He had a stethoscope around his neck. Yeah, I assumed he was a doctor. Manny was the first VIP client. Within weeks, his focus was much better. He felt a lot quicker. This guy says, yeah, my cousin's in the Yankees. It was A-Rod. He says, I want whatever Manny was taking. I had a true believer right away. You know, seven days after he started my program, he went ahead and in one game, he hit three home runs. And he said, I'll give you an extra 150 grand a year if you give me an exclusivity. I said, for 200, you got a deal. Listen, each home run costs money. At this time, Biogenesis had close to 300 athletes. We were consuming so much product, I had to go to the black market. Okay, I just stumbled across some kind of steroid ring. I didn't think I was gonna get caught. I was busy going to parties. My cocaine bill was $6,000 a month. The biggest steroid scandal in sports history exploded over $4,000. Yes, look, if I don't get my money, I'll blow this whole thing up. It was just an absolute clown show. Get rid of steroids now. This is my whole life, my legacy. You tell me why I should serve one inning. Tony Bosch is not a doctor. Tony Bosch is a drug dealer. Coke addict, bad son, bad father, bad brother, bad everything. What can you tell us about that? No comment. He's lucky he's not in the canal anywhere. This guy's connected. A lot of people involved. Don't do this. You're going to get killed. So I got my nine millimeter. For every sleazy thing Major League Baseball did in trying to pay witnesses, threatening people to cooperate, A-Rod and his crew were doing almost the exact same thing. He pretty much can forget the Hall of Fame. It was almost like, hey, Mom, I made it to the big leagues, but in a different way, you know? <laughs> you can't make this up.